Want to clean Windows 11 with just two built-in apps that runs on only 256 megabytes of RAM? Then you are in the right place. Hi, this is Neil from Harbor of Tech. Today, I'll walk you through everything about Tiny 11 25H2, from the installation to the configuration and the performance tweaks. So you must stick around till the end for the viewer exclusive access code, which you will need to unlock your download. In the beginning, you will need to extract the zip file using an archive extraction tool like 7-Zip or WinRare. When extracted, open the folder and you will find an application named Rufus. Open that, then insert your USB drive. It should be around eight gigabytes or more. And then select the ISO file from the Rufus and click start. And that's it. That's how you create a bootable USB. It's gonna take around 15 to 20 minutes to finish. And when done, you can just boot from the USB. To ensure that the installation is clean and simple, I've made the installer to boot directly into the partition screen. There, you can choose or create your partitions. One must be cautious while creating or deleting partitions. This is because a single wrong move can make you lose all your data. Now, while it installs, I wanna talk about something that's been a total game changer for my content creation workflow, and that's today's sponsor, Clipwise AI. You know how frustrating it can be to spend hours editing videos, cutting clips, and trying to find out those perfect moments for your long-form content? Well, Clipwise AI literally does all of that for you. Using artificial intelligence, the tech behind this is really mind-blowing. Clipwise analyzes facial expressions, voice modulations, audience engagement patterns, and even subtitle sentiment to determine which parts of your video will perform best on social media platforms. Now here, I'll create a reel on the effects of quantum computers in the field of AI. You have guessed it correct. It only takes a single prompt to get started. Choose your style and boom, your script is ready. You have multiple customizable voice options to choose from and... Let's bring your ideas to life with the power of voice. I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Attack ships off the shoulder of Orion. Imagine a world where computers think faster than light. Quantum computers are here, and they're revolutionizing AI. Picture this now. A doctor diagnosing diseases in seconds, thanks to quantum-enhanced AI algorithms. Machines processing vast data. That's what Clipwise can do. They have a fair pricing policy. Check out their website. Everything is in the description. Now that the installation is finished, it will boot straight to the desktop. Now comes the time for configuration for a perfectly stable and lightweight installation. The first thing you need to do is open the Configure app. Open the app and then click on Compress Drive. What it does, it compresses your drive to save space. It can save up to 50% space, which is huge if you have a smaller hard disk. If you are lacking space, Compression takes anywhere around 10 minutes to a couple of hours. You can sit back and relax and also get your work done in this time. I'll cut this portion of this video so that it does not get too long. When the compression is complete, restart your PC to apply the changes. After the compression is done, let's check the disk usage. As you can see, it's only five gigabytes, which is pretty small compared to today's standards. Considering the fact that Windows Defender, Windows Updates, and Microsoft Store. All three of these work perfectly. Next step is the browser. To get connected to the internet, you need a browser. That can be Microsoft Edge, that can be Chrome, that can be Firefox, or any browser of your choice. Comment down below which browser you use. You can install a browser directly into Tiny11 by going into the Configure app and just clicking on the browser you want to install. When the browser is installed, you can visit my YouTube channel directly from the Configure app. Now take this time to like this video and subscribe to this channel and enable the bell icon for future updates. You can also join my Discord server. There we can have a fun chat, discuss about any problem which you face during installing this version of Windows on your computer. Now many of you might have the issue of absent games crashing on your PC randomly. That thing can be easily solved using paging files. What you need to do is to just enable them from the Configure app. Speaking about Microsoft Store, everything works. You can install your apps and games. 
you can sign into your Microsoft or Xbox account. But one thing you must note, that is you should not disable all your updates. If you want Microsoft Store to be working, you can keep updates paused or only the security updates enabled. The Windows updates are paused indefinitely. You can unpause them just with one click, but I do not recommend that. Unpausing update means allowing Microsoft to install junk and bloatware in their sponsored apps into your PC without your consent. So what's the need of drivers? Drivers are needed for the proper functioning of your PC. Gamers, editors, and people with dual monitors and other devices need the drivers for the proper functioning of those devices. And here is the viewer exclusive access code, which you will need to unlock your download in the website. Thanks for watching till now. Now let's install the drivers in your PC. Unlike other custom OS, installing drivers in Tiny11 is absolutely easy. You just need to open the Configure app, just like before, and click on Install Drivers. It will open a driver installation window. There, you need to scan for the outdated drivers. And that's how you get a list of all the outdated drivers on your PC. You can choose all of them or selectively choose the ones you need. And then click on Update Now and that will install all the drivers on your PC. After downloading them, this will take some time. This can take a long time depending on your internet speed and your computer speed. So grab a cup of coffee and chill. This installation method was done using a bootable USB drive. But in case if you do not have a USB drive, you can use the Oscilkami to install this OS without a USB drive. Now this method of Oscilkami will let you dual boot and keep your original Windows 2. If you want me to make a tutorial on it, I will make it. So drop it down in the comments below. And many people might be asking if this 25H2 is stable in this dev edition. Yes, this is stable, and this will not expire after some time. And that's Tiny11 for you. It's fast, minimal, easy to set up, and perfect for reviving old pieces. Like and share if you find this video helpful. This is Harbor of Tech signing off.